Now, besides the setting that responsible on changing the waveform inside of our water materials, if we want to change the outlook, the color, the transparency of our water, inside of our material, we go down until we find our absorption parameters and our scattering parameters. So the absorption parameter, what is basically, is basically how much of the light spectrum is going to be absorbed by the water and how much is going to be left out. So in the easiest form, this is what will change the, the color of our water. So if I'm going here, now we can see that the water will have a different color aspect of it. I'm going to turn back to our colorization. And what you will see, you will see that we have red, green, blue channels. Red is the starting point, basically it's responsible for more the gradient water. So if I want to have much more transparent water, I can increase the value of it. So increasing the value will increase the transparency. If I need to increase the green value, we can go for the green channels and increase the green value also for the blue value. Alpha works as multiplier factor. The lower the number, much more contrast between the colorization you will have. And the higher the number, the more shallower or the color is going to be. Then we have scattering. And scattering is basically what will happen when light goes through the water and how it will interact with the particular inside the water. Lower value generate a crystal transparent water color. Higher value will generate a foggy cloudy form of water color. Another key aspect in our water material that play a main role and will change the look of our shader is anisotropy. You will find it under water shader menu. Higher value of it will increase the contrast and the saturation of water color. And lower value will make it more shallower. Now, beside the colorization and transparency, we need to add our foam. And our foam system is disabled by Epic Game by default due to distance field generation. And they don't recommend to switch it on as water system is not officially integrated in Unreal. But what we can do is we can go all the way to our parent water material, open it, and go, because this is also an instance, we need to go to our main water material. So I'm going here, water material, and I will going to open it. Now, inside of our material, what we need to go, we need to search for a function called beach foam function. So going here, we have beach foam, foam and inside of the beach foam, we enter it. Now what we need to do is we need to search until we will find a comment box saying that it's disabled due to landscape global distance field issue. What you can do is you can disconnect this multiplier and connect the max to our high slurp transition phase, the first one, and for the another channel, high slurp transition phase two. Secondly, we need to do is we need to connect our output form scattering. It's disabled by default. We need to connect it to our multiplier. We need to hit apply and we need to save it. Now our shader is recompiling again. Inside of also our water material, there is what we call here fluid simulation enable form. What you can do is you can right click and promote to a parameter and enable it by default. Apply and save it. Now what we will happen is nearby our shoreline, what we are going to see is we are going to see a line from foam that has been generated. If you don't see this line of foams, this is due to uh, main things that our water body ocean should be on zero Z axis. A positive number will not going to generate our foam. So if I go for, for 50, now my foam is going to be disappear. So make sure you, so you have like on a z zero level Z form. Now our foam looks like a string line but we can change the form and the outlook of it inside of our water material ocean. What you need to do is you need to make sure that our enable ocean form is activated. 
Now we go up, we find some global scalar parameter for our form. We have depth for distance field form. Basically reducing this value will uh, extend the form coverage right to the edge. So if I'm going now for a lower value, extend it to the edge of it. Go nearly to two, it's now extended here. If you want to extend the form to the outside, what you need to do is you need to go for your form distance and increase the value of it. Now it's increased it towards the far distance of our ocean field. Another key aspect is what we have is we have this form depth minimum. Now what we are seeing, we are seeing like a white color of our form, but we need to have like a gradual fading for our form to a more pronounced area where it's expected. If I'm going here and I am going to increase our value, let's say for 500, now I'm starting to see some fading between the shoreline and the foam here, going like for like value of 600 is good. My foam look like a blobby foam shapes. And if you want to increase the level of details, what we need to do is we need to go all the way to foam scatter MIP. The lower the value, the more details it got. So if I go now for six, now I'm getting much more details for value of two. Now I'm having much more details form of it. Also we have form scatter bias, which basically will extend the coverage. A higher number will extend all the way. So if I go for a one, now it's extended for 10. Now it's extended and make it much more foam beach. Okay, so I'm going to go with 0 0.75. If you want, or 0 0.45, if you want to change the scaling of your form, the parameters that are responsible for the form scaling is our form macro scale. Higher number, we give much more large scale form format. Another parameter, you see that our form is stable, is not moving with our water waves. What we need to do is we need to go all the way up where we have is all form attachment. And the form attachment is basically responsible of the moving of our form. Higher value, now we see that our form is affected by our water, it's not attached to the shorelines. So the more, the more the movement of our form system. Also, we have foam transparency. If you want to have much lower transparency, I'm going here. Go to your opacity and go for 0 0.7. It's much more realistic for me. After applying our foam, what you need to do is you need to change the material for your far distance water zone to match up with your own uh, water material. And to do this, we need to go to our water zone we need to go all the way until we find our far distance materials. Look it up inside of the content browser. Again, we need to copy the original to our folder. And from there, we need to insert it inside of it. I'm going here. And now what we need to do is we need to insert the same absorption and the same uh, scattering details. So I'm going here, going for our absorption. I'm going to go for 50, 250, and um, what was here, 10. And for the scattering, I'm going to check out here 0 0.5, the same. And also we have our anisotropy. So the anisotropy here was 1. I'm going to change it here to be at 1 level. Now we see a blending between both of them. Another thing is if you want to add a cosmetic to your own water color, what you need to do is you need to go to your water body oceans, go all the way until you will find enable cosmetics. So we can go here and you find cosmetics and you need to enable it. And the shader will recompile to generate this shearing light of cosmetics. Now we see the cosmetic form inside of our ocean.